Hey boys and girls! So in this video we're going to talk about how to make the board game that you get to make this week. This week your board game is going to be all about Canada because we've learned about Canada all year, Canada Day is coming up, and it's an important part of grade 2 learning. I'm going to show you in this video an example I've done not about Canada but about Edmonton. So you can take some of the ideas that I've got in my board game, we'll explore that a bit, and then you can use those ideas to create your own board game that's about Canada. So mine will have Edmonton facts, yours is going to have Canada facts in it. Let's take a look at the board game. So this is my game. I've made my game about Edmonton so that it's an example, but you can come up with your own ideas for your game about Canada. So I've chosen some important landmarks from Edmonton, some important things. I've got the legislature, some bison, the streetcar, the Edmonton Eskimos and Oilers, the North Saskatchewan River. And then I chose a little symbol for my board game. I've got some trees because the River Valley has so many trees. And then in my game, I added some interesting parts. I have spots where it says things like move forward two spaces, go back to the start. So those are all throughout my game. And then there's a start and an end. So I've got my board game board here. But the important thing in my board game is that I include some facts somewhere in my game. So instead of just having this board, I also have some questions. So anytime in my game someone lands on a tree, the other person will pick up a card and ask the person whose turn it is a question to see if they can earn some points. And then we'll keep track of the points. You can format your game in a different way, just as long as somehow in your game, there's a way to ask the other person some questions about Canada. And then if the other person gets the question right, they earn some points. So I'll show you my cards. So my cards have these trees on them so that the players know when they land on a tree, the other person will pick up one of these cards and ask them the question from it. You don't have to use the tree. You could use your own symbol that has to do with Canada somehow. And then I'd suggest that you have cards or some way to ask the players questions throughout the game so they can learn about Canada and test their knowledge of Canada. So let's look at these examples. So some facts that I learned about Edmonton that I included. Um, start with what province is Edmonton the capital of? So the, the other person would ask the other player the question and then the other person if they said Alberta they would get 27 points. If the other person answered British Columbia though then they wouldn't earn the 27 points they'd get zero points. Another example I have is what lights can be seen in the sky in Edmonton sometimes in the winter? and they would need to answer Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights. And that player would get 32 points if they got it right. Another one I had is, is Edmonton famous for its ocean, river, or glacier? So they would need to know it is the river, or they might even say the fancy way they would call it the North Saskatchewan River. And that would be 18 points if that player got it. And a last example I have is, who were the first people to live in Edmonton? So the answer should be First Nations people. So the person who's not having their turn, they would ask this question. If the player whose turn it was got it right, they would earn 24 points. Now you can include some facts about Edmonton in your Canada game, but make sure you include some questions from different parts of Canada so that we're learning about all the different parts, all the different regions of Canada. You might include some special facts you know from Matagan or from Iqaluit or from Saskatoon or from Spruce Grove, but then some other facts from different parts of Canada would be wonderful too. So now that you have an idea about how to create a board game, you can think a little bit about what you want your game to look like. You can go search for some facts. And there are a few mini lessons and videos on our language arts page this week that will help you to do that. I can't wait to see your board games, guys. Bye.